explain yourself, Mr. Cobb. What is the most resilient parasite? A bacteria? Virus? A chicken liver? Um, what Mr. Cobb is trying to say. An idea, highly contagious. An idea that is fully formed, that stinks. Right in there somewhere. For some bastard like you to steal? Yes, in the dream state, it makes your thoughts much more vulnerable for effect. It's called extraction. Slater, we can train your subconscious to defend itself from even the most skilled extractor. How can you do that? Because I am the most skilled extractor. I know how to search your mind so that your defense is never down. In order for this all to work, you need to completely let me in. Enjoy your evening, gentlemen. I shall consider your offer. We don't have much time. This has gotten out of control. chicken. Mr. Cobb, how would you like to see your chicken again, to get back to America? Go on. I have one last job for you, but it will be very hard. As you may know, I am one of the world's top chicken manufacturers. Now I know you haven't had the best luck with chicken, but I know you love it. The other leading chicken company, KFC, is giving me a very hard time. But their resources are limited, and their owner is getting very old and sick. Is it possible to plant an idea on someone or something's head? You know, like a, a farmer planting a seed at the ground. We should walk away from this cop. Are you talking about chickenception? So you've done it before. If I do this, I need a guarantee you can get me back to the United States and to the thing I love most, my precious chicken. Of course, Mr. What are you thinking, Cobb? Chickenception is impossible. It is possible. How can you be so sure? Because I've done it before. When I was back in the United States, I had a job. I worked at Chicken Infinite. I was the best. I could cook any chicken. I was so good I became obsessed. 
I had a good cage with live chickens in it at home, and I would hook them up to this machine and have them dream, and I would go into their dreams. I did horrible things. Things too hard to imagine. Too hard to understand. When the chickens were asleep, and I went into their dreams, I would plant ideas in their little chicken brains. I planted one idea in the chicken's head that will never leave it. The idea became the chicken. It was all the chicken could probably think about. One simple idea changed everything. I planted the idea in this one innocent chicken's head that this one chicken should tell all his other chicken friends that he no longer wanted to take it from the butchers to kill him. So, I told all those chickens to come to my house every night and keep telling all the chickens to come. So I gave them my address and I told them where to go. You, monster! Okay, Arthur, it was just chicken. They were so delicious, though. Well, I'm sure they were, but that doesn't make it right. No, no, it doesn't. And there's a punishment for me. I was deported out of the United States, and I was told to go to some other country, any other country besides the United States. And so this is why I need this last shot from Sato. We talked earlier, and he said he could clean my record. And, uh, and quite frankly, I could get back to the United States free. And maybe even open my own chicken shop. <laughs> Sometimes you can lose track of reality. So I have this totem. It determines if I'm in a dream or not. If the wishbone breaks when I bend it, that means I'm not dreaming. But if it doesn't break, that means I'm still in a dream. I understand. I'll help you with this cop, but it isn't going to be easy. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. So what exactly do we have to do? We have to find the owner of KFC. Right. And I know just where to find him. Take it nice and easy in having this chicken break up his father's company. So, how are you, Mr. Chicken? Hello, I'm Alan. He's a sophisticated chicken. Great. Now, your father's company, KFC, must be very hard to manage since you got Mr. Uh, Sato's company, Chicken Limitless, competing against you. Yeah, I don't know why he even likes chicken. I mean, my dad was delusional by opening a company where we sell chicken. And look, we are chicken. Sometimes I just want to send him to his grave and get it over with. This might be easier than I thought. Just take it nice and easy. The chicken already hates like his father and the business he's in. Yeah, I got this. So, Alan, you don't like chicken, and you don't sound too fond of your dad either. Yeah, when that old bank dies, I'm going to shut down this KFC company for good. We gotta get out of here before he changes his mind. Okay, I'll end this. So it already sounds like you know what you're gonna be doing with your father's company. Well, we'll see you later, Alan Chicken. Shit. We still have three more hours left in the, um, the other level. Which means we have two days left in this level. What are we going to do? You know, you should probably shoot yourself. Why not? Get out of it. Did it work? Yeah, it was easier than we thought it would be. Yeah, the chicken hated his dad and was already planning to shut down his company. Very easy. Nah. Wonderful. And I believe you have a plane ready for me back to the United States. The airplane is running and ready as we speak. 